Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Harry! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! What do we know about these people? Uh, okay guys, as you can see, I'm back. I took a, a quick second to talk to Miss Strickland again. They're friendly, they're well-behaved. Uh, they're sober? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very uh, softly. Tambourine. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! <laughs> but think of the... Think of the Stay Sober Society. Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. <laughs> but I promise Miss Strickland, it means so much to her. The answer is still no! Oh, come on, Doc. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! <sighs> you will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, uh, patent. All right, so now we just gotta find it. Oh, I know. Here you go, Einstein. Sniff it out. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Yeah. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Deja vu. All right. Which one would he be in? Oh, there's only one button. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Uh, we're gonna do the subpoena here. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. All right, let's get him down here. Let's make up a story. I have to hand this subpoena to Arthur, not throw right, it. Get out of my inventory, then. Get out of my hand. There we go. It's so stupid. I hate the way that's set up. Let's buzz him again. Thanks for bringing no. us here, boy. No. We'll take it from here. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. Oh. Well, I can't see him. The camera angle did not change. Oh, there we go. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? I got something for you. We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, 
The boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Ah oh, man, come on. But like I was saying before, guys, this is different from the other Telltale games. What now? In the sense of, you know, you have your choices and it affects how the story it's goes. It's me again. Please you know, come like, down. Why? All right, hold on. Got some important information for you. We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to run down this list. I don't know if Emmett will have any ideas about this. Let's talk to him real quick. Need any help? Yes. Um, never mind. All right. I guess not. Uh, but it's different as in, you know, the other Telltale games. You do this, you do that, and then so-and-so will remember what you did or you sided with this person. This... What now? This, not so much. Actually, not at all. It's me again. Please come down. Why? All right. We're f you know, I'm just say we're family. I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you. But I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Oh, Some man. other time. You know what? Last time, I'm the law. That's it. What now? Just get your ass down here. It's me again. Please come down. Why? represent the law you don't want to go against the law do you no but i don't want to go against kid tannin either and he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word sorry some other time all right you know what I'll, i guess i'll try the hat did i try that already i don't even remember uh, this is infuriating infuriating what now Sorry if you guys heard a doorbell before. I don't know if you guys did. UPS man, stop by. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Yeah, show it to him. Bring him. Damn it, man. What about the photo? I got your picture, my man. Uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing oh, him a picture mind. of his yet-to-be-born son <laughs> could turn him into a vegetable. All right, guys, once again, I'll do another transition. Someone's playing tricks on me. I don't want to mess up my picture of Dad like that. and just came out of the barber shop. You know what? Let's go over there anyway. Come on, move those those feet. You got like bricks in your shoes. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. there you son of a bitch right now that's an order i don't Make think they're going to talk to right now get down here and face the music einstein help lay off get away from me 
Wait Get me, out, you crazy nut. Out. Go, go out. away, dog. Yeah, I'm I need... busy here. Out. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. I, I don't, I don't know how that progressed the story. Hey, hey. Can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and I lives to tell in a about talkative it. Mood You're right dead now. meat, twerp. Better start composing your epitaph now. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now. All right, guys. Only making it worse for yourself. Got what we the needed. The longer you stay up there, the longer I'm gonna take a vacuum. Come on, I don't want to record them right now. I don't know. Know. Damn it, I hate this inventory system. Great. Guess what? Hey, Einie. Look out, boss! It's it's that crazy mud again. I can't believe you lost him again. All right, we're gonna head this way now that we got the recording. Oh, that took a long time. I don't know why to figure that one out. Really? All right, we gotta walk through this way, cross the street. Can't be like a normal person, just jaywalk. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. Like I said, I'm still, I'm almost 100%, but allergy season is upon us, or at least upon me. And it is just knocking me around. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's move. Let's move. Yeah, he needs he needs his hoverboard back. He moves too slow. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Like I said, it'll be 1985 by the time he gets down the block. Alright, let's buzz him in. Or er, buzz him, period, not buzz him in. How am I talking about? What now? Alright. Take recorder. And go. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's kid? Don't you worry about that, my man. Here's something for you. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena! Nothing in his hand. <laughs> Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into... Kid Tannen? Take there it back! That, you can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. <laughs> Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Hold on, I got your hat. Grandpa got served. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man!
Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Alright guys, I want to take a little break, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit for yet another episode. So with that being said, I will chat with you in a minute. Peace!